আউজবিল্লাহিমিনশৈতনজিম বিসমিল্লাহিরহমানহিম ও ইন তো ইফত নিমিনল মোমিনি নাকত তলুফ আসলেহু বেন হোমাহম বগত ইহদ হোমা আল উখরা ফকাতিলুলতি তবগি হত ফসলেহু বেন হোমা বিল আদলি ও আকসিতু ইন হি বুল মুখ সে তিন ইন্নমল মোমেনুন এখতুন ফসলেহু বেন আহবায় কুম ওতকুল্লাহাল আল্লাকুম তুর হামুন ডিয়ার ফ্রেন্ডস আসসালাম আলাইকুম বরহমতুল্লাহি ও বরকাতহু আই রিসাইটেড সুরা হুজরাত আয়াত নাম্বার নাইন অ্যান্ড টেন ইন দিস টু আয়াত আল্লাহ টেলস আস to bring peace and prosperity within the islamic society so if there is any dispute between two person two group of people or two countries or two tribes so you have to make reconciliation so bring them together and bring peace in between them and leave those things which are producing destruction or dispute or trouble you leave from them and bring peace and prosperity and love and nice good thing in between them so that they should be patch up again the society of islam every person must stay in a peaceful situation al muslim man salim al muslimun min lisanihi wa yadi so this is the condition that allah and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wants a peace and prosperity within the society of the muslims we read this ayat we will understand more better inshallah so allah said wa in taifatani when and if uh, two group min al mu'minin two group of the people who are with iman if two group of believers naqtatalu if they fight mutually if they fight mutually two group of people among the muslims for aslehu you have to patch up them you have to reconciliate them you have to bring them together in peace bainahuma in between them fa im baghat ihdahuma and if one of them is transgressing alal ukhra on the other faqatilullati tabghi you have to you have to fight with that one hatta tafia ila amrillah until that come back towards the command of allah command of allah is reconciliation to make peace within them so if they bring peace they come to peace alhamdulillah fa in faat if that comes to bring peace and do reconciliation then is fine fa aslihu then you have to reconciliate them you have to bring them together in a peaceful situation bain huma it in between them bil adl with justice wa aksitu and you have to maintain the justice in between them completely in allah indeed allah yuhibbul muqsitin allah love those people who act justly innamal mu'minuna ikhwatun indeed the believers they are brothers of one another fa aslihu baina akhawaikum so you have to bring uh, peace between your brothers wattaqullah and fear allah la allakum turhamun so that you can get the mercy of allah we can read one time more so allah said 
و ان تا افتانی من المومنی نق تلو فاس لہو بین ہما ف ام بغت اہ دا ہما الخرا فقا تل التی تب گی حت تفی الا امر اللہ ف ان فا ات فاس لہو بین ہما بل ادلی و اکس تو ان اللہ یوحب المکستین انم المومنون اخوت فاسلح بین اخوائکم واتقوا اللہ لعلکم ترحمون سو so اللہ said if two groups of the believers they start mutual fighting make peace between both of them but if one of them oppresses other then fight with one who oppressing who is oppressing until it returns to the command of allah if it returns to the command of allah then make peace between both of them with justice and maintain justice in between them indeed allah loves those people who act justly in the next ayat allah said the believers are brothers of one and other so make peace between them so make peace between your brothers and fear allah so that you may receive mercies of allah alhamdulillah actually the main thing is that islam wants peace and prosperity within the islamic society so this way rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and you have not to promote jealousy you have not to do jealousy and not to keep a bad idea about other in your heart and don't oppose other people and don't transgress stay in your limits and behave like a nice brothers in your society so this is the this is ingredients which bring peace and prosperity within the society rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam already said if there is a dispute between two persons wa intai fatani min al mu'mini naqtatalu if they mutually if there is fighting or in between two brothers or two group of people faslihu bainahuma so you have to bring peace in between them reconciliate them so uh, so bring them together with a peaceful situation so then uh, if uh, one of them uh, is is not accepting to bring peace and uh, transgressing others don't worry then allah said you have to fight with that one fa im baghat ihdahuma ala al ukhra so if one of them is a uh, is transgressing is oppressing others other one then faqatilu allati hatta baghi hatta tafi ila amrillah so allah said you have to fight with that one until that comes to the command of allah command of allah is peace reconciliation if that comes there fa in faat if that one comes there faslihu then bring peace bana huma in between them bil adl with justice so wa aksitu and and maintain the justice you have not to uh, take the side of anyone so you have to bring like a balance so your justice must be in a balanced way nice way that allah wants and because allah said inna al mu'minuna ikhwatun so these are your brothers fa aslihu bana akhwaikum you have to reconcile you have to uh, bring peace in between your brothers wa taqulla and be and, and fear allah and don't do anything in just unjustly so la allah kum turhamun if you will do like everything justly you will get the mercies of allah in your society mercies of allah mean if mercies of allah comes then prosperity development and good things happen in the society and mashallah with this world so you will become self reliance you will get more profits and so many things happen within the society even uh, it brings uh, like uh, 
the the um, not uh, progress uh, for hereafter but progress for this world so much happens the business they develop give more profit and so many things happen and uh, development become positive and goods good things are outcome of that when there is uh, reconciliation and uh, and there is uh, 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 no dispute and people they living within within the society in a peaceful way and following the Quran and Sunnah, mashallah, will be in a position to get more profit, more mercies, more benefits of this world and the world hereafter. Sahal bin Saad radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that uh, the people of Kuba, they mutually they fought among themselves. So until they have stoned to each other, they throw stones to each other also. And this news came to Holy Prophet ﷺ. And Holy Prophet ﷺ came and, and he made reconciliation, the peace process in between them and they became good brothers after that. So this hadith is in Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and Abu Dawud and Isai also. You can see the people of Syria and the people of Iraq. There was the big war in between these two countries. People of Syria, they were one side and people of Iraq, they were other side. And people of Syria were uh, having so much army of uh, Amir Muawiyah. And people of Iraq, they were with the army of Hassan bin Ali radiallahu ta'ala. So what will happen? What happened? Then the situation was like this. The army of Hassan bin Ali radiallahu ta'ala, that was superior. And it was, it was expected at that time that it will defeat easily to the army of Amir Muawiyah. But you can see the outcome of this noble action that came in Hassan bin Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, I don't want the people should die. People are killed in this, or in this army action, in this battle or war. He said, I want to, to, uh, to finish this and uh, to accept the kingdom under the ruling of Amir Muawiyah. And he brought the peace agreement between Amir Muawiyah. So he finished the battle with him. So you can see this is the greatest achievement of Hassan bin Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu who brought uh, peace, this is the peace, not a simple peace. It is the big peace within the society of the Muslims. MashaAllah, at that time. Otherwise, if this was not this decision, if this was not done, you can see so many people, they were to be killed there. So, Hassan bin Ali, ta'ala anhu, he, he brought this peace agreement in order to save the lives of so many Muslims. And he got so much biggest reward from Allah, mashallah. So you can see. So this is the outcome of what? Outcome of this reconciliation, peace process within the society. So this peace process, this peace agreement, which was done by Hassan bin Ali and Amir Muawiyah, that was the greatest achievement of Rasulullah sallallahu sallam, mashallah children. Alhamdulillah. If you look at the history of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi sallam children, they have done every time in their life so much big sacrifice in order to bring peace within the Islamic societies. Alhamdulillah. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he revealed that Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Muslim is the brother of other Muslim. A Muslim should not torture the other Muslim. Muslim should not make trouble for other Muslim. Muslim should not deface the other Muslim. This is said by Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is in Hadith that is in Sahih Muslim Bukhari. And uh, 
and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as as long as a muslim is in a position to fulfill the needs of other muslim so allah is busy to fulfill the needs of that muslim and when a person who is a muslim he 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 remove the trouble of other muslim then at the day of judgment allah will remove the trouble of that muslim at that at the day of judgment when a muslim is just to keep the uh, secrets of one muslim then allah will bring the uh, you know allah will allah will keep the secret of that muslim at the day of judgment mashallah Abu Musa Ashri رضي الله تعالى عنه he revealed that Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said a Muslim is like a like a wall like wall all the slabs of the wall they are joined together so the, all the ingredients of that join together to make a wall com- compact and concrete and strong so this way Muslim they become so much strong when they one and other join together. So same in one other hadith that is uh, revealed by Abdullah bin Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه that uh, a person is not a Muslim who who is eating and drinking full full like eating and drinking with drinking with full saturation but uh, the neighbor is uh, hungry. So this is very important that we Islam is just to look after everyone. So we are not a one we are like a body. So we have to look after our body organs, same like we have to look after every Muslim. If any Muslim has any need, so we must feel it, and we have to give that one. If we have extra something, we have to give that one. That is not our right to keep it, to give this one to the other Muslim. That is the right of us to do. Naman bin Bashir رضي الله تعالى عنه he revealed that Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. that you will see the believers they are so much merciful to others they try their best to look after others they are soft to others they are kind to others they work like a one body when the body organ feel some pain the whole body feels so they feel like this so this hadith is in sahih bukhari muslim and musnad ahmad also Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه he reveals that Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that abusing a Muslim is the sinful act and fighting with the Muslim is kufr Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه he revealed one other hadith that is in Sahih Muslim also that it is not lawful for a Muslim to curse other Muslim so you have to keep like other muslim in a good words this way rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al muslimu man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadihi muslim is that person who keeps other muslims and protect them and look after them with the tongue and with the hands so very important you are not to say anything from your tongue to tease other muslim you are not to do anything with your hand to disturb the other muslims you have to keep peace and prosperity with the islamic society that is the need mashallah one other hadith that is in rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you have to help your brothers even if your brother is 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 good or like if the brother is being tortured or brother is torturing you have to help both so one person said i understand that the person who has been tortured we we can help them possible but how can we help the person who is torturing rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you have to stop that person to torture that is the thing so this is the help of that person very important So very important message that we got from Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam through Abu Darda رضي الله تعالى عنه he reveals that Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a person who protect the the honor of a Muslim at the day of judgment Allah will save that person 
from the fire. This hadith is in Matrimzi. Holy Prophet said in one hadith that is revealed by Abu Darda that uh, Rasulullah said, Should I tell you uh, one good action that is more better than nafal salah, nafal fasting, and also more better than sadqa? Companion of Holy Prophet they were sitting there, they said, Yes, why not? Holy Prophet said, You have to make your mutual relationship more good. If you will bring disturbance in your mutual relationship, it will trim it will trim your deen like you trim your hairs. So be careful. You have to bring the relationship, mutual relationship mean relationship with your parents, with your brothers, sisters, with your neighbors, with your other Muslims. So relationship with everyone. So we have to bring them nice and good so that our deen will stay then mashallah all right if the relationship they are disturbed then we are bringing the disturbance in our deen also because it is like a trimming deen very important Abu Ayyub Ansari anhu, he reveals that Holy Prophet وسلم, said that this is not lawful for a Muslim to cut off relationship from other Muslim up to three days. So you have to bring the uh, relationship more close, don't cut off relationships from other brother up to three days. Very important. So you know we are Muslim, our Qibla is one, Allah is one, Rasul Sallallahu is one, our book is one, our Kalma is one. But our thinking is different. Our happiness and sadness is different. And and uh, our uh, happiness, enjoyment and, and our uh, rights and custom and traditions we have brought from other uh, uh, other people like from Christian Jews and from other people. So we, we, we have deviated actually. If we look after, assess ourselves and bring to bring us to one point that our Allah is one, Qibla is one, Rasul Sallallahu is one, Book is one, our Kalma is one. So we should be one. This is the need. We have to do it. We have to try our best to be one also. Very important. If we find any any Muslim who has uh, been disturbed by other Muslim, we have to bring reconciliation to bring them, patch up them and bring peaceful situation in between them and give them gift and make their situation more happy and good. So this way keep in mind uh, to bring reconciliation, to bring peace within the disputed uh, people. So that is more rewardable than nafal salah, nafal fasting, and then sadqa and charity. So we have to look after it. Abu Bakr Sadiq Allah Ta'ala he revealed that Holy Prophet Wasallam said, when two Muslims, they are opening their sword and trying to fight each other, both of them will go to the hell. So Abu Bakr Sadiq Allah Ta'ala he said, I, re I requested Holy Prophet Wasallam that the person, we understand that uh, the person who has been killed, how he will go to the hell? Holy Prophet Sallallahu said, because that person came to fight that I will kill the other person. He was having this intention, this way. So this hadith is in Bukhari Muslim. So both of them will go to the hell. So this way, when the even within the Muslim society, when one Muslim is, is fighting with other Muslim, both of them will go to the hell. So this is very important to killing of a person who is having Iman in himself or herself, that is bringing you in the state of Kufr. 
because Holy Prophet Sallallahu said in other hadith that uh, abusing Muslim is a sinful act, but fighting with the Muslim is kufr. So person go into the kufr, state of kufr. So very important to look at this. So this way Islam wants peace and prosperity within the society to promote it to persuade the people to bring peace within the society, to motivate them that they should be away from, from all types of those factors which will bring distortion, which will bring destructing, which will bring uh, like uh, uh, troubles within the society. They must be away from that and bring those factors which can rejoin them and to make them more more strong and strengthen them more in order to bring like a solid one nation to fight everywhere you will be successful you will be the top power in the world and rule the world also that time after the battle of Badr uh, Muslim they mashallah they were successful in that one uh, the old Jew person his name was Shamas bin Qais. He tried his best to, to bring in Muslim disturbance. So he he prepared uh, to to young person in order to bring this this plan to disturb them. So Aus and Khizraj tribe person they were sitting together in Medina and. Uh, he said those people to go there, sit within them and start in verses the mentioning of the battle of Bias. So that was the battle that, that, were hap that was happened in between Aus and Khizraj tribes. So he said you have to you have to start reading those verses which were read by the tribe of Aus and Khizraj within the gathering of Aus and Khizraj there. And these two people, they said they made the situation to, to bring that and then they started that. When they started it, when they started uh, the situation and in that they read those verses of the war of battle of Bias. So that uh, brought within the tribe people Aus and Khizraj the old fighting what was done by them. And, and they started to blow up each other, one another. And then they, it was possible to be starting fighting again in between them that Holy Prophet Sallallahu he got news of it and he came and brought them together in a peaceful situation and reconciliate them and made them and the, made within them the peaceful situation they they became happy and they forgave each other and they found that this was a tactic of the Jews to bring distortion, trouble and problem within our united Islamic society. So very important to understand this is the situation when Muslims are united, they are happy. That is the time when within them the, the other other people they try to bring distortion, destruction and trouble so that they should get their aim to disturb them. So they should get their motto to bring within the Muslim uh, distortion, trouble, problems. So be careful in this also in future. In Medina there was one person his name was his Ansar his name was Imran. <coughs> <coughs> and his wife Umm Zaid and there was a fight between them what was the purpose of the fight because the wife said Umm, Umm Zaid she said I want to go to see my parents 
but uh, Imran, who was husband, he said, I'm going outside, I will come back, then you go after that, and we have to reconciliate like this way. But she said, no, I want to go now. And this was like uh, so much trouble, it trouble becomes bigger. And uh, then what happened, and uh, uh, Imran, he placed her in one room and locked up. And then she uh, she made some uh, type of, uh, you know, she found some way other person and and she she sent information to to her parents and brothers and others. And they came with their sword and everything. So and uh, and then the the other relative of Imran they came and this way there, there was a disturbance within within their house and it was a big dispute possible that was starting the fighting situation and news came to Holy Prophet Sallallahu and Holy Prophet Sallallahu he sent some Sahaba Kram Ridwan to settle the situation and they came to settle it and then brought peaceful atmosphere within them Alhamdulillah so this is the situation where Allah said that uh, when two persons they are fighting or uh, then mutually so you have to bring their uh, peace like when wa in ta'ifatan al wa in ta'ifatani min al mu'minin naqtatalu so allah said fa aslihu bainahuma so you have to bring peaceful situation within them that is the thing one day Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi he was going, uh, he was riding on the on the donkey, and uh, on the way he found the Ansar. They were sitting there, and Abdullah bin Abi was also present there. And uh, Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he stopped for a while there, and in that situation, uh, Abdullah bin Abi he said, "I'm finding the big." Uh, so much uh, bad smell and uh, and no good situation from your donkey and bring it away from me one of the one of the muslim who was sitting there he said the 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 smell of you is very bad and the smell of holy prophet sallallahu donkey is more better than you than your fragrance also what you have so that time the people who were in favor of Abdullah bin Abi and the people who were Muslim, they started talking and they started fighting until they, the fighting became with the shoes. They were hitting them one and to other. Holy Prophet Sallallahu he went from that place. When he heard this, the news came to Prophet Sallallahu he came back and he, he made the situation better to settle them and to brought peaceful situation in between them and then this ayat also came and that when two persons they are fighting you have to bring re reconciliation in between them so very important this way if you look <coughs> if you look in uh, other ayat Allah said innamal mu'minuna ikhwatun aslihu bayna akhawaikum so this is very important if you this ayat bring the whole whole muslim through all the world at one single platform this way they the muslims throughout the world they become like a unit in a, in a unity situation because uh, islam mashallah is a Actually, you know the Allah said in Holy Quran, "Wa tasimu bi hablillahi jamiyum wala tafraku." So we have to hold the rope of Allah, and we should not be divided. This is very important. Rope of Allah is Quran and Sunnah. So when we are completely connected with it, the rope of Allah is one one end is with us. And other end is with Allah. When we connect with one end, we are connected with Allah, and then we get the mercies of Allah. This is the this is the main thing which we forgot. This way, very important for us to have to look after ourselves. So we are we are, and we are should we we are should we have to be. 
so this is very important because when we feel in our society some people they are trying to fight and we have to bring reconciliation and bring them together in a peaceful situation that is very important so we have to bring peaceful situation so that our society should be within peace and uh, you can see in our society many people they try to uh, excite the people and to bring uh, disturbances within the society in order to get their personal benefit or their worldly benefits if you find some people they are trying to get their personal benefits or worldly benefits you should not be a part of that person or those people who are doing it so you must be away from them because those people they, if you will go there and there will be any fighting or something if you will be killed your place will be in in the hell so this way be careful these worldly things and uh, some some people what they want to get so so there this type of uh, greed or this type of uh, their desire it is uh, un islamic and uh, we have not to support it very important and we have to bring only within the society good situation to bring the people who have some hatred or some uh, some type of uh, jealousy we have to tell them that uh, the jealousy is the biggest sinful act that that is like a fire it will fire your good deeds and uh, even the hatred it will also trim your deen so we have to bring in our society the peaceful situations and bring justice within the society every time starting from our children and so that we can get the mercies of allah this way allah said if we have fear of allah and we have to do everything in a justice way inna wal mu'minuna ikhwatun fa aslihu baina akhawaikum وَاتَّقُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ So Allah, Allah said um, the believers they are actually brothers and you have to bring reconciliation so that they should patch up and bring peace within, within the society of Islam and there was, must be peaceful atmosphere every time and, uh, and there must be a good situation and uh, and you must have a fear of allah every time and then you will see you will have the mercies of allah and this mercies of allah it will bring in your uh, uh, life the goodness of this world and the world hereafter allah give us tawfiq ameen